Yo guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. My name is Maxim and today we're gonna look at the F122 game thanks to the EA Creator Network. I got an early build from the game so let's dive into all the details I got for you guys and I have some nice overview of all the gameplay and details that you want to know. This is a preview build of the game so the game is not ready, not finished, things will be tweaked, bugs will be fixed so don't worry about that and enjoy. For example, the AI does crazy moves sometimes Massive dive bombs and they crash into each other, they spin by themselves. I hope that AI mistakes will stay in the game, but not this much because it's just a bit of carnage uh, on the road, so be careful. Let's take a look at all the new cars, but remember this is a baseline model, so don't look at the shape of the car, but just look at the awesome liveries from all these beautiful cars. So let me know in the comments what is your favorite car. But remember, the shape will be changed how it looks in real life. But we will probably use this baseline model in my team, so you can already take a look at the car. Think about the design that you like on this one. Now you've seen the car, let's listen to the engine sound from the Mercedes. The Ferrari. The Red Bull powertrain. And the Alpine. My team is back in F122, so let's take a look at all the new changes. You have to pick an entry status that you like. You can start as a newcomer, midfield challenger or a title contender. As a newcomer, you have to start all the way from the bottom. As a midfield challenger, you can probably pick a couple of development areas that you want to improve so you can battle with the midfield teams. And as a title contender, of course, you're fighting with the top three teams and hopefully you come out on top. There is an expanded department and that's events. So we'll have more like these little events and now it's also with supercars, but we're talking about that in a minute. If there's a problem in my team, you have to fix it. You can pick like, do you want to fix it now or just leave it? In the long term, it will cost more to repair it. So better fix it uh, as soon as possible. And of course we have rivals and season targets. Besides F1, my team, I really enjoyed Breaking Point, but this year, it's not coming back. Breaking point is gone and won't return for this game. Breaking point costs a lot of time and they focus on other areas of the game now. So that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, unfortunately we have to say goodbye to breaking point for now. One of those other development areas is crossplay. It will be added later in the game. So that's amazing. We don't have to sit in our own platform. We can play with whoever we want. If you want to play with PC, with PlayStation or Xbox, everybody can mix up and this is just simply amazing. The lobbies will be fuller, the races will be better and I really cannot wait to race with the full community and not be limited to a platform. Another new feature is F1 Live. This is a custom player hub. You can show the supercar that you've unlocked, you can show the clothing that you've unlocked. There will be collabs with real brands so this will be pretty damn cool. You have a little trophy cabinet that you can show all the prizes you've won to your friends. And this will be the lobby location. So for multiplayer, you're just chilling in there. Your friends can join, see your plays and stuff. Uh, so this is what we've seen and what we've heard. We always have to wait till the final result and see how it is. But it looks pretty cool. You can even change your furniture, your wall, your floor, whatever. It's, it's a bit like the Forza Horizon 5 or the crew houses. So it's really like your own little place. There is also some bad news about F122 because Jeff is gone. He's gone. They replaced him with a McLaren pit crew member. So that's pretty awesome. And they recorded all the sounds with an official pit mic. So it sounds pretty awesome. It's nice and refreshing, but Jeff will always be in our heart. The handling model with the F122 cars is pretty different so we have to adjust, learn, adapt and find out what's the quickest way to go around the track because the traction is pretty yeah, tricky. It's very easy to spin and also even in six gear sometimes you can just lose the car so be careful. The cars are heavier so in low speed corners it's very strange. In high speed it's a bit more sticky but even then you can lose the car easily you have to short shift a lot and maybe take turns in one gear higher the curbs are pretty brutal they changed a lot also the track limits so that's a good thing that you can not just run over the curbs and don't care about anything you have to be more careful and more gentle with everything 
With the setup, you have more options now. With the arrow, you can go from 1 to 50. So that's a good thing as well, and you can tweak it how you like it. The tires, of course, also changed, and the tire model changed with it. It's very tricky to get the tires in the right temperature. At the start of the race, you're completely screwed. After a pit stop, you're also screwed. You just have to be very careful and very patient uh, till the tires are on the right temperature. Otherwise, you will just crash and end up in the wall. Sprint races are now in the game, so you can select like the authentic F1 calendar or you can just select sprint and race, whatever you like. You can choose how you want it and play how you prefer. We talked a little bit about the supercars earlier, but there are supercars in the game. And this is pretty awesome. It will be probably with the challenges in F1 My Team, but also available in Hot Labs. So there are new track modes like Autocross, Drift, Average Speed Zone and Rival Duels. And Time Attack, the Checkpoint Challenge and Pursuit are back. So far we know four car brands that are in the game. That's Ferrari, Mercedes, AMG, McLaren and Aston Martin. And for the Deluxe Edition, you will get the Aston Martin safety car and the Mercedes safety car as a bonus. I'm very curious about the handling model because yeah, we're used to the F1 cars. You have a lot of downforce, but those cars, like the supercars are very different. So I cannot wait to try it and feel how the car behaves. I think it will be pretty funny. We'll have to see how it goes. There are more customization options in the game because now you can choose a paint finish and you can choose it per part of the car. You can select gloss, matte, satin and metallic. So four paint finishes. Unfortunately, we cannot completely customize the car, but this is a step in the right direction and hopefully we can like completely customize our car in the future. And you can also copy those designs if you want to make little tweaks so you don't uh, have to start over again. There will be circuit updates for Australia, Spain and Abu Dhabi because those tracks are of course changed and older tracks will be also added to the game. I think we will have Portimao in China, but maybe also Hanoi and hopefully more tracks to be added in the future, maybe as DLC, maybe as like extra content. We have to see, but uh, Keep an eye out for this because it will happen. In the game you can also choose between immersive and broadcast mode for the safety car, the pit stop and the formation lap. With the formation lap you have to warm up your own tires and you have to slot in the right grid box. With the safety car of course you have to keep your tires warm and nice so you don't have like ice cubes when the restart happens. And with the pit stop now you have to time your own turn in point if you are too early yeah, you screw it up, it will take longer if you're too late as well. But uh, if you are on time of perfect, it will go quicker. VR is also a feature, but unfortunately I don't have it, so I cannot try it at the moment. The rain has also improved on the game. Now you can really see the spray and also the puddles on the track with the reflection. So it looks very nice and very promising. So keep an eye out for that and try it yourself soon. The cutscenes are also updated more to like the whole broadcast that we see on TV with all the nice screens like the F1 intro we now have it before the podiums. They're making a lot of improvements to make it more like real life and that's a very good thing. The damage model is refined to the new cars so you still have the wing damage, the side damage, the barge boards and all the scratches and little things. So uh, it's not like a lot different but of course there are different parts on the car. So a little bit of different damage. And the question that everybody has, is porpoising in the game? No, it's not in the game. But like the F1 teams didn't even know it was going to happen in real life. How do you think a game developer should know? And how do you implement it in the game? And how can you remove it again? Like, yeah, it shouldn't be in real life. And that's why it's not in the game. But this is all the information we had so far. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.